Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So guys, today's demonstration we will learning about the Java service. Okay, so how you can write a Java service in web method. Okay, so you are implementing your code in a closed service in web method. That's fine. But if you have complex logic, okay, in your code and your project, and that's why we require a Java service to implement your code into the particular project. Okay, so how you can write a Java service? Let's start the demo. So as I already created one package, then one folder Java service data, and uh, before that, like after that, I created one service folder. So just right click on this particular service folder, then new Java service. Select this option, Java service. Okay. So once you select this option, then give the user defined name as uh, we are like creating a service for a uppercase like whatever input you have on to uh, convert into uppercase so how you can do that so let me uh, like create one service upper case java service okay then finish so in close service uh, before uh, like my, my like implementing your logic very first you need to create the empty flow so similar we are creating a empty flow, a empty service in a Java. Okay, so here the empty flow got a created, like empty editor got a created. You can say in a Java language. Okay, so uh, here publish static final void uppercase uh, like this is a service name and everything. So if you have enough uh, knowledge in Java, then don't bother. Let me show you how we can write a uh, service. So very first we need to define your input and output. Okay, so. Uh, like we we required only one string here okay so i'll give the name as a input and uh, we will storing uh, this particular result into the output field okay so once you're done with that now then this save after that this is empty editor okay right click and uh, like select the option generate code okay uh, here you can see the four options are there for implementing this service for calling this service from another service third option would be for calling uh, this service from a client and last one is for a debugging this service okay so now uh, like we are approaching this kind of a service for implementing this service okay then click on next okay so here the specification you can see input and output and which field all field is selected field so all everything it's set so you can keep as it is and click on a finish now here you can see one tip is there the generated code has been copied to the clipboard so click ok and after that uh, do control v otherwise uh, right click and uh, paste it here okay so now you can see here like whenever you're creating your flow your flow service the pipeline is the most important so with the help of pipeline you are linking yeah, you are hard coding the particular variable so in a similar way in java also we required a pipeline okay and if you have unwanted variable in flow we are dropping this uh, particular by using particular element we are dropping this element okay and similar way in java is here inbuilt service is there pipeline cursor dot destroy okay so once you're done with the, the particular variable and if you don't want to keep this particular as long as your service you can drop by using this service pipeline cursor dot destroy okay you can destroy this particular variable similar you can check here for output the same thing is there like one another pipeline cursor slash one dot destroy service is there okay this is your input this is your output and we are performing our business logic in middle okay so uh, starting uh, like we are considering the string okay uh, we need to uh, input string convert into the uppercase so just uh, like uh, write a statement string we are storing uh, the r result into the output this is a manual variable so string output equal to your uh, input would be in a input so take a input as is input dot so once you click uh, like once you write a dot after that the particular related string your related services you can see here okay so now we are looking for uppercase so let me check okay here you can see two uppercase 
the inbuilt function is there okay so just double click and after that give a semicolon okay now you can see here the statement is string s always capital string output equal to input dot to uppercase here you can ch change the output one yeah input one but we are taking as is because we are already defined the input and output okay now the thing is that uh, once you save the demo then click on the empty space okay uh, click on empty space and uh, run as service run service here you can give the input as a uh, uh, web methods okay web methods okay then click uh, you want okay now here you can see output it's storing output only why because let me show you the reason behind that uh, this is the java service variable and we uh, like in output we are took one variable as a output okay so we need to remove this uh, double colon okay so once you're done with that then it will uh like this uh, particular output will store in this our manual variable okay then save click on empty space click on empty space and run run the service so web method uh, we are giving an input in lowercase and now we are looking for in uppercase okay so now uh, let me maximize the screen result screen here you can see the output in web method in capital like uppercase okay so guys that's all about uh, today's demonstration here we saw like how you can uh, converting the lowercase input into the uh, like uppercase output okay so web method we give uh, one input in lowercase and we converted this particular input to uh, outer like uh, uppercase okay so that's all about the today's demonstration if you like this video then please like share subscribe okay and uh, uh, if you have any query any concern regarding the java service flow service web method related any topics you can comment in a comment section okay so we'll see you in next workshop till the time stay happy stay connected thank you so much